In this video, we dive into the 12 tips to quit drinking for good, shared by an alcohol recovery practitioner. Whether you're looking to cut back or quit altogether, understanding the nuances of alcohol dependency and recovery is crucial. Stay tuned as we break down each tip with detailed explanations and actionable steps. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Understanding your drinking patterns is the first critical step towards recovery. Start by reflecting on what triggers your drinking. Is it stress, social settings, or perhaps feelings of anxiety or depression? Recognizing these triggers can help you develop strategies to avoid or manage them. Keeping a drinking diary can be a helpful tool. Log every drink you consume along with the time, place, and what you were feeling or doing at the time. This record can reveal patterns that may not be immediately obvious. Next, consider the role alcohol plays in your life. Is it a way to cope with negative emotions, a social lubricant, or a nightly habit? Understanding this can help you find healthier alternatives to fulfill these roles. Lastly, be honest with yourself about the impact of alcohol on your life including health, relationships, and work. This honest appraisal is a powerful motivator for change. Setting clear, achievable goals is essential in the journey to stop drinking. Begin with defining what success looks like for you. Is it complete abstinence or reducing your alcohol intake to a safer level? Once you have a clear target, break it down into smaller, manageable goals. For instance, if you're aiming for abstinence, you might start by cutting down the number of drinks per week gradually. Each small victory builds momentum and confidence. It's also important to set time-bound goals. Give yourself a realistic timeline to achieve each small goal and adjust as necessary based on your progress and challenges. Celebrate these milestones no matter how small as each is a step towards your larger goal. Remember, the path to sobriety is a marathon, not a sprint, and setting realistic expectations can prevent feelings of frustration and failure. Lastly, it might be helpful to write down your goals and revisit them regularly to keep your commitment fresh in your mind. When considering quitting alcohol, it's essential to approach the process with care. One effective method is to gradually reduce your alcohol intake. This allows your body to adjust slowly, reducing the risk of severe withdrawal symptoms. Start by cutting back on the amount you drink each week. For instance, if you're used to having a drink every night, begin by skipping a night or two each week. This method isn't just safer, it's also more sustainable in the long run, as sudden changes can be harder to maintain. Next monitor your progress carefully. It's helpful to keep a diary or use an app to track the quantity and frequency of your alcohol consumption. This monitoring can provide insights into your habits and help motivate you to keep reducing your intake. Remember, the goal here isn't just to cut down but to do so in a way that's manageable for you. Additionally, consider substituting alcoholic drinks with non-alcoholic alternatives. This can trick your brain into maintaining a routine while significantly lowering your alcohol intake. There are many high-quality non-alcoholic beers, wines, and spirits available that can make this transition smoother. Lastly, be patient with yourself during this process. Reducing alcohol intake is a significant change and progress might be slow. Celebrate small victories and stay committed to your overall goal of quitting drinking for good. Quitting alcohol can be a daunting task, and sometimes the best approach is to seek professional help. Professionals such as doctors, therapists, or addiction specialists can provide you with guidance tailored to your specific needs. They can assess your drinking habits and suggest a treatment plan that might involve therapy, medication, or both. Therapy sessions can be incredibly beneficial. They provide a safe space to explore the underlying causes of your drinking, such as stress, anxiety, or past traumas. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, is one popular method that helps you manage your thoughts and feelings about alcohol more effectively. In some cases, medication may be prescribed to help manage withdrawal symptoms or reduce the desire to drink. Drugs like naltrexone or acamprosate have been proven effective for many individuals struggling with alcohol dependence. Remember, there's no shame in seeking help. Recognizing that you need support is a significant first step towards recovery. Professional guidance not only makes the journey safer, but also increases the likelihood of long-term success. As you reduce your alcohol intake, you might experience withdrawal symptoms. These can range from mild anxiety and shaky hands to more severe symptoms like seizures or delirium treatments. It's crucial to manage these symptoms safely, and if severe, seek immediate medical attention. For mild symptoms, staying hydrated, eating well, and getting enough sleep can help. Hydration helps flush out toxins, while balanced meals support your body's nutritional needs during recovery. 
Supplements like vitamins B and C can also aid in the recovery process. For moderate symptoms, over-the-counter medications may alleviate discomfort. However, it's essential to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new medication. They can recommend appropriate doses and ensure that there's no interference with your recovery process. In cases of severe symptoms, hospitalization may be necessary to ensure safety. Medical professionals can provide monitoring and administer medications that ease the symptoms and support the body's recovery. Understanding and preparing for these symptoms can make the process of quitting alcohol safer and more bearable. Remember, managing withdrawal is a temporary phase on the path to a healthier life. As we continue our journey to quit drinking for good, let's focus on a fundamental aspect of recovery, your diet. Improving your diet can significantly aid your body in healing and coping with the absence of alcohol. Start by incorporating more whole foods like fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins, which provide essential nutrients that alcohol might have deprived your body of. Switching your eating habits can also help manage cravings. Foods high in fiber such as whole grains, legumes, and nuts keep you fuller longer and stabilize your blood sugar levels, reducing the urge to reach for a drink. Additionally, staying hydrated is crucial. Alcohol dehydrates your body, so increasing your water intake will help restore your body's natural balance and can also reduce cravings. Moreover, consider adding supplements to your diet, as recommended by a healthcare provider. Certain vitamins and minerals like B vitamins and magnesium are often depleted in those who consume alcohol heavily. Replenishing these nutrients can improve overall health and aid in recovery. However, always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. Lastly, remember that changing your diet is not just about subtracting, but also about adding. Introduce variety into your meals to keep them interesting and satisfying. This will not only help you physically, but also boost your mood and motivation as you notice the positive changes in your body and mind. Engaging in regular physical activity is a powerful tool in the recovery process from alcohol dependence. Exercise not only improves your physical health, but also has a profound impact on your mental well-being. It releases endorphins, natural mood lifters, which can decrease the feelings of depression and anxiety that often accompany alcohol withdrawal. Starting an exercise routine can be as simple as taking daily walks. The key is consistency and gradually increasing the intensity and duration of your activities. Activities such as swimming, cycling, or team sports not only keep you fit, but also help in building a sober social network, distracting you from cravings and reducing the risk of relapse. The benefits of exercise extend beyond just immediate mood improvement. Over time, regular physical activity helps to normalize body systems like sleep patterns and stress levels that are often disrupted by alcohol abuse. This normalization is crucial for long-term recovery, as it improves overall resilience against stress and reduces the likelihood of relapse. To incorporate exercise into your recovery plan, set realistic and enjoyable fitness goals. Whether it's achieving a certain number of steps per day, joining a local gym, or participating in yoga classes, find what activities you enjoy and make them a part of your routine. This approach not only aids your physical recovery, but also rebuilds your sense of control and accomplishment. One of the most challenging aspects of quitting alcohol is avoiding situations that trigger the urge to drink. To successfully stay sober, it's essential to identify your triggers and develop strategies to avoid them. Begin by analyzing your drinking habits to recognize specific places, people, or emotions that prompt you to drink, and then make conscious efforts to change these patterns. For instance, if you find that social gatherings are your weak spots, start by suggesting non-alcoholic meetups with friends or avoid bars and parties where alcohol is the main focus. Replace old habits with new, healthier activities that do not involve alcohol, such as movie nights, outdoor adventures, or book clubs. The key is to make new, positive associations that reinforce your commitment to sobriety. It's also helpful to avoid keeping alcohol at home. Removing it from your immediate environment can significantly reduce the temptation. If you live with others who drink, request their support in keeping alcohol out of sight or designated in specific areas that you can avoid. Lastly, develop a plan for how to handle situations where alcohol is unavoidable. Practice polite but firm ways to decline a drink and plan an exit strategy if the temptation becomes too strong. Remember, every time you successfully avoid a temptation, you strengthen your ability to stay sober. When embarking on a journey to quit drinking, building a strong support network is crucial for sustained success. 
Surrounding yourself with people who understand your struggles and are committed to helping you overcome them can make a significant difference. Whether it's family, friends, or a dedicated support group, these relationships provide encouragement, accountability, and comfort during tough times. It's essential to communicate openly with your support network, letting them know how they can best assist you in your journey. Additionally, consider joining recovery groups or online forums where you can share experiences and strategies with others facing similar challenges. These platforms offer anonymity and accessibility, making it easier to receive support without the pressure of face-to-face -face interactions. Engaging regularly with these communities can reinforce your commitment to sobriety and provide you with valuable coping strategies. Your support network should also include professionals like therapists or counselors who specialize in addiction recovery. These experts can offer guidance based on their knowledge and experience, helping you to navigate the complex emotions and situations that arise during recovery. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of positive reinforcement from your support network. Celebrate your small victories with them and lean on their strength when you face setbacks. This collective effort can empower you to stay the course and achieve lasting sobriety. Managing stress effectively is a pivotal skill in preventing relapse in the journey away from alcohol dependency. Stress is a common trigger for drinking, so learning how to handle it without reaching for alcohol can greatly enhance your chances of long-term success. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, and yoga can significantly reduce stress levels and promote a sense of calm. Incorporating regular exercise into your routine is another effective method for managing stress. Physical activity not only improves your overall health but also releases endorphins which are natural mood lifters. This can help alleviate the anxiety and stress that might otherwise tempt you to drink. Establishing a consistent exercise regimen can provide structure and a positive focus, keeping you engaged and motivated. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy or CBT is another powerful tool in managing stress. This form of therapy teaches you to identify negative thought patterns that lead to stress and replace them with healthier ones. By changing your thought processes, you can better control your emotional responses to stressful situations, reducing your reliance on alcohol as a coping mechanism. Lastly, ensure that you're getting adequate sleep and maintaining a balanced diet. These aspects of self-care contribute significantly to your ability to manage stress effectively. By prioritizing your physical and mental health, you're setting a strong foundation for sustained sobriety. Celebrating milestones in your journey to quit drinking isn't just about giving yourself a pat on the back. It's a crucial part of maintaining your motivation and recognizing your progress. Each milestone, whether it's one week or one year alcohol-free, serves as a tangible reminder of your strength and commitment. It's important to set these milestones from the start and decide how you'll celebrate them. This doesn't mean indulging in old habits, but rather choosing healthy rewards that reinforce your new lifestyle. Maybe it's a spa day, a new book, or a small trip, whatever positively reinforces your commitment. Sharing these achievements with your support network can amplify the joy and encouragement they provide, making the journey less daunting. Remember, each step forward is a victory, and acknowledging this can significantly boost your resolve to stay sober. Incorporating regular reflections on these achievements can also help you see how far you've come, which is invaluable on tougher days. Dealing with setbacks is an inevitable part of any journey, including quitting drinking. It's essential to have a proactive plan for handling these moments without derailing your progress. First, recognize that a setback does not mean failure. It's simply a part of the human experience and learning process. Develop a clear plan that includes immediate steps to take when you feel you might slip. This could involve reaching out to a friend, counselor, or support group member who understands your goals and can offer immediate encouragement and perspective. Secondly, use setbacks as learning opportunities. Analyze what led to the setback and how you can adjust your strategies to better handle similar situations in the future. Lastly, maintain a compassionate and forgiving mindset towards yourself. Self-blame can be detrimental, whereas understanding and kindness can propel you forward. Remember, resilience is not about never facing challenges, but rather how you respond to them. We hope you found these tips helpful in your journey to quit drinking for good. If this video was useful, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear about your progress or any other tips you might have. Also, don't forget to check out the calorie and protein calculator linked in the description. It's a fantastic tool to help you keep track of your nutritional intake and ensure your body is getting what it needs during your recovery.
Staying informed and proactive about your health is key, and we're here to support you every step of the way. Let's keep the conversation going and continue to support each other in our journeys to better health. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you're struggling to quit porn addiction, watch the video on your screen next. Remember, every small step is a step towards a healthier and happier you.